Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how you can retrieve uh, very useful data from the car using OBD2 uh, dongle, which cost around uh, 3 uh, euro uh, and not the OBD11, which cost 35 euros, and a free app called Car Scanner. You can see here in the app there is battery temperature which is, which is very useful because if you know that your battery is hot uh, you have to drive a little bit slower before you charge the car during the discharge charging station because the car otherwise will rapid gate and will uh, reduce the amount of power that it can increase into the battery so if i knew that uh, i wouldn't be surprised by rapid gating on uh, one of my uh, travel, travels so other things the power consumption you can see here the this is the maximum voltage of the battery cell and the minimum voltage of the battery cell so this is very useful to see if your batteries are balanced or not the battery state of charge in percentage which is very useful feature here N nowhere in the car or uh, maps and more application of also again you don't have the percentage of the car. So this is also very useful information. Battery voltage, the uh, amperage consumed from the from the, the high voltage battery, and currently the speed, which uh, I have stopped, so it's zero. So let me show you how you can do that and also uh, achieve, uh, retrieve a lot of other useful stuff. First, you need the dongle, the OBD2 dongle. This is the OBD2 dongle, it costs 3 euro from uh, AliExpress and this is the OBD2 dongle which you don't need for in this case but it's costing 35 euros and you can do more with this dongle but uh, all the, the good features, the stuff that you need probably will be available with this one dongle and the car scanner app also So, then we need to mount it the OBD2 port is located here on the back. You see this purple, pink, sorry, pink dongle. This is the OBD2. You need to. Sorry for the noise. Put it in the car and it will start blinking. You see? It's indicating right that it's, there is power. Then you need the app, which is called Car Scanner, as I already said. This is the app. You can go to the settings menu here, then press connection. And here you have to select Bluetooth, as it's selected here. For the iOS, uh, you need to select Bluetooth Low Energy, but in my case, I didn't manage to make it work. So uh, I'm showing you how it can, you can do it on Android. So select the Bluetooth, then select the device. In my case, it will be OBD2 device, which is the one that is uh, that I already put on the OBD dongle on the car. And then you need to choose your car profile. So clicking choose car, car, car profile. My car is uh, Volkswagen. It will load all the uh, Volkswagen models that it has information uh, about. And mine is generation one you can go to generation 2 uh, also you can download the app check if your uh, car is available on the app and then you can buy the dongle when you are sure that uh, your car is supported there and by pressing the selecting the car it will automatically load all the uh, information that it can retrieve from the car so this is where you select the, the, the connection type and then you go to the home screen, press connect. It will start looking to the OBD dongle, retrieve the information from the car. And then uh, the information will be available in all sensors. I think this was, yeah, this is the information about the car. There's a lot of data here which you can 
select to see on your dashboard. Someone asked me, uh, I don't remember if it is it was in the uh, Facebook group or in the YouTube comments where you could see the sale voltages. So here you see all the sale voltages are here and also the sale temperature at the bottom. You can see there are 17 uh, temperature which are measured between the cells. So there is a lot of information. You can also retrieve the uh, state of charge of the car. You can retrieve a lot of data which is uh, very useful to have. Uh, as I mentioned, the battery temperatures, temperature is one of the main things that uh, I, am, I will look for because then I will know uh, how much DC, charging, DC fast charging speed I can get on the next stop. So this is all the data. Then you can go to the dashboard. This is the dashboard that I have created for me. Uh, you can create a new one. For example, app page. Okay, the free version we have only three pages, that's okay. Uh, yes, you can go here. These are the dashboards, you can change them. No, I can't change them. But uh, on the... Let's go back, back. I have changed the third one, this one here, to look like this. When you go to the settings, here, then you can choose customize page. There are different layouts, when you click on the layout, you can select the layout and then uh, by clicking the options below for example uh, I don't need a vehicle, vehicle speed I can ch uh, choose another one and here on the sensor I click the sensor I need to check and all the sensors here are located here I can select for example the what machine stator temperature it will retrieve information and it will show you on the display and i go back and back i can see all the information that uh, i choose to have uh, on the dashboard okay i hope you find this uh, video useful uh, and uh, if you like it give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel See you soon.